Hello everyone, uh, you're welcome to this class. So in this class, we want to look at corrections to angles between lines. So that's what we want to look at in this video. So the first one we have here, the question asks us to state whether 32 degrees and uh, 58 degrees are complementary, supplementary or neither. So complementary angles are angles that the sum gives us 90 degrees, while supplementary are the ones that give us uh, 180 degrees. So if you have 32 plus 58, that gives 90. So in that case, we'll say that uh, 32 and 58 uh, are complementary angles. All right? So they are complementary because 32, uh, 32, 32 plus 58 is what to 90 degrees. So that is complementary angles. All right? So uh, number two, state whether these are supplementary. Let's add this together again and see what we're going to have. 54, uh, that is 0, 8, 180. This is supplementary. All right. Why the third one? State whether this and this. So 52 plus 48. This is 0. This is 100. So it is neither. It is not supplementary and not uh, complementary. All right. So that is that. Then move to question number four. So for question number four, find the value of uh, y. Find the value of y uh, in the figure below. So you have to find the value of y in the figure below. So if you look at the angles here, the angles are on a straight line. So 50, y, and 33 are on a straight line. And the sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degrees. That means we have 50 plus y plus 33 equals to 180 degrees. So uh, 50 plus 33 is 83 plus y equals to 180 degrees. So that means y equals to 180 degrees minus 83, 83 degrees. All right? So that gives us uh, 97 degrees. I hope that is clear. So that is option uh, C here. Then for question number uh, five, find the value of x in the figure below. So the same thing will be done. This one, we have four angles on the straight line. So that means we are going to say 53 plus x plus 46 plus 42. Everything is equal to what? 180 degrees. So that means x plus, so 46 plus 42, that is 88. So 88 plus 53. This is 1, 9, that is 14, 141. Equals to 180, all right? So that is x equals to 180 minus 141. And x equals to 39 degrees. I hope I'm not too fast. All right, so this is the answer here. So for number... For question number six, for question number six, so the next one is number six, question six. So for question six, we have this. So we have this. Find the value of x in the figure below. So what you can see is that the, the angles are surrounding a point. So these angles are at a point. So in this case, so we're going to have it to be, we add everything together, have is 2x plus 30 degrees, all right, plus x plus 3x, right, equals to what, 360 degrees, all right, equal to 360 degrees. So in that case, so 2x plus x plus 3, that gives 6x plus 30 degrees. All right, equals to 360 degrees. So we collect like terms here. That's 6x equals to 360 degrees uh, minus 30 degrees. So that is 6x equals to 330 degrees. So divide both sides by 6. All right, so 6, we cancel 6. So x in 30 is 5. Then the 3 in 30, that is 55 degrees. So the answer is 55 degrees here. 
I hope I hope this is clear. All right, so it's that 45 degrees. So move to the next question number seven now. For question number seven, we have find the value of a in the figure below. So uh, this angle here is 90 degrees. That is square corner. So that means that we are having uh, we are having uh, 3a plus 90 plus a plus a equals to 180 degrees. So 3a plus a plus that's 5a plus 90 equals to 180 degrees. All right. So that means that 5a. That means 5a equals to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees. So that means 5a equals to 90 degrees. So the Bible are by 5 by 5. So a equals to um, 5 in 9 is 1, remainder 4, that is 8, 18 degrees. So I hope that is very clear. So the answer uh, is 18 degrees. So you can see here, it's 18 degrees. All right, so this is option B. So move to the next question, this question number, question eight. So for question eight, these also angles at a point, all right? So the question asks us to find the value of A, and we are given that A, uh, B, B is equal to 5A, C is equal to 2A, and D is equal to So which means C and D are the same. So in that case, so what we are going to do is A plus B plus C plus D plus 90 degrees equals to 360 degrees. Are with me? So having known that A plus B is equal to 5A. So we replace B with what? 5A. All right? We replace with 5A. Then C is 2A. We replace with 2A. Then D is also 2A plus 90 degrees equals to what? 360 degrees degrees. So from here now, we can find the value of our A. So A plus 5A is 6A plus 2A, that is 8A, then that means we have 10A uh, equals to 360 degrees uh, minus 90 degrees. So that means 10A, right? 10A is equal to 270 degrees. So the Bible are by 10, by 10. So therefore, A equals to what? 27 degrees. I hope that is very clear. All right. So that is option, option B. Option B here. Is that clear? Then we'll move to question nine. Question nine. Uh, find the value of C. So we've known the value of A. We've known the value of A to be uh, 27. So the question I asked us to find the value of C. So how do we do that? So and C, we have C equals to 2A. So that means C equals to 2 times 18. And that gives us what? 36. Oh, sorry, 27 rather, not 18. Uh, so A is uh, 27. So that is going to give us of 54 degrees. And that is option, option A here. All right? That's option A here. OK? So the next one, so the next one, uh, the last question we have there, so is question number 10. Find the value of B. Yeah. So the same thing will also be done, the value of B which is equal to 5A. So that is B equals to 5 multiplied by A, which is uh, 27. All right? So that is 5, uh, 10. That is 135 degrees. OK, so that is that on this uh, video. Hope you find it useful and helpful. So this is where we're going to stop here. So we're going to continue for our next uh, video. So thanks. Bye for now.